Hey YouTube, this is Mega Geek 1000 here. I'm gonna do a review on the Corporate Alliance tank droid, ages 7 to 12, item 7748, and 216 pieces. Um, on Lego.com, it's 21.49 uh, pence. So let's get on with the review. Comes off. Uh, start with the minifigures. It comes with two jetpack clones. These are really cool. These are a different size to the um, to Boba Fett's. Jetpack. I've also shown this in my minifigure collection. If you guys want to check that out. Um, so yeah, these are these are different sizes. As you can see, comes with a regular uh, pistol that most battle packs and everything come with, and underneath is a regular head for a clone. Comes with two of them, uh, which is extra cool. And also the best thing about this is the head can still turn. It can't turn all the way around though because of that, but I mean, it can turn around from there to there, so yeah, that's pretty cool um, I'm back with the straight arms now, this is pretty awesome uh, new droids, well, not new droids, but the newest ones with the better guns um, so they're pretty cool we also get two of them uh, and you want to know what droids look like, so it's not worry, let's not waste too much time on that um, if you want to run this is, um, I'll show this off now uh, that's the tank droid there. I'll show that. In there. Um, so basically, this is the um, catapult. Uh, it works well on a good hard surface. You might want to use some wood or something like that. And these, uh, and you take a jetpack clone. Doesn't matter if you have a gun or not, whatever. And you just stick them in there. And what you do is you tap that, and it flies off because it's supposed to fly into the actual tank. Um, it's showing that on the box, but I don't have the box because I threw it away. But um, let's quickly get. There you go. It, go. it goes pretty far if you um, it can proper slam it down, but um, you can lose pieces and stuff because if it crashes into pieces in um, mid air, you can use the helmets or the guns or whatever. So just watch out where you're firing it. There you go. Um, what I did realize is if you fire it here, it goes more um, goes more for length, and if you fire here, it goes more for height. So it goes more up and down, and this one goes like further along. So if, it depends where you want to fire it. Um, now on for the actual tank. If you guys are wondering, you can't actually fit any minifigures in here. Or you're not, not meant to because this is actually a droid, not like a vehicle. But um, what I did realise is if you take... Oh, there we go. I just broke this. This isn't really fragile. I just broke it. Um, if you take that, what you can do is you can actually curl up a regular droid without a gun um, and put it inside. Just curl up a droid like that. And um, you can actually attach it. Oh, I've got it kind of stuck, but you trust me, you can actually just attach it um, inside. Just give me. A okay, it's getting too stuck. I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Um, but also on the back, if you take uh, this back bit off here, that's just what it is that fits inside, you can put the droid on there and. Oops. And that will fit on and everything, and the tread won't get in its way or anything. Um, okay, there you go. I'll just put it on now. There you go. Um, and it can fit in there, and I'll just put the um, tread back on. Uh, this tread is 57, uh, 56 pieces long, but my set actually came with 57 pieces. Um, but if you want to put the 50. I don't think it's meant to because in the instruction manual it didn't actually say it comes with that, so I guess I'm kind of lucky. But um, I'll just have one more attempt at trying to put this droid in here. But if you do want to put any um, extra treads on, it's good, but it makes it too baggy and doesn't really go well. So they probably tested it out, and 56 is probably the best number to have. Um, there you go, I kind of man managed to put a droid in there. Um, so you, it's not exactly hard to put on either, you can just like twist it round and you just clip it on and there you go, you can go in everything uh, this does work better on carpet but I haven't had any troubles on hard surface but a lot of people say it works on carpet um, so in there is the original, uh, the second droid I put in and on there is the first droid I put in in case you guys wanted to know that um, oh I think a bit fell off when I, put this, when I was putting the uh, tread on some bits, um, I wouldn't say any bits on this are actually fragile, but some bits can just fall off when 
you're just uh, playing with it, but nothing's really fragile. Um, these move up and down and outwards and everything, so you know you can look down, look up, look out, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm surprised that there's no flick fire. Oh, there is flick fire missiles. I nearly forgot that. Um, there you go. They just push out the bottom there. They can get in the way because of these ones, which aren't flick fire missiles. Um, but you know, never mind. These uh, these bits go up and down. So if you're going up a hill or whatever, they'll just like stick to the surface, um, which is pretty cool. I thought there were wheels underneath, but it's actually not. It's just uh, these clear back bits, which is pretty cool. So overall I'd probably give this set maybe a 8 or 9 out of 10. It's got good minifigures, a good tank, not as much playability as you could have, but I mean, um, I mean this, the tank doesn't have much playability apart from it moves and the flick fire missiles, but I wouldn't really call that playability, but there you go. Um, but this is good fun, um, and it's not really hard to make, so you can check that out. Um, I think it's actually meant to go like that. There you go, I'll just have a few more goes of it because it is good fun. Um, and this is Mega Geek 1000. Check out my um, other vids and stuff. There you go. Um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later.